Hi everyone. So how are you guys doing? I am at home today. It is Tuesday before Thanksgiving 2022. And um, I am prepping today for the holidays. Um, something I wanted to talk to you guys about and do a video on was prepping as a single mom for the holidays. So I have a kiddo actually at home sick with me today um, and he's running a fever and throwing up. So I thought what a better day for me to take off work and just stay home with him, take care of him. And in the meantime, um, and, and clean my house, get ready for the holidays. Um, I wanted to uh, show you real quick what we did this morning. I got his room all done and um, I am moving downstairs and sleeping in the living room. Both my boys are now going to have their own room and they are super excited. So here is my eight-year-old's room. I'm going to insert it right here. Okay, got my son's room all clean. This is my eight-year-old. He had a bed right here. We've moved it desk he's got a full bed now big screen tv and now i know the things i need to get for christmas he's gonna have a gaming room so but it's all clean and it kind of echoes <laughs> okay my 14 year old he is only with me every other week and so i am also giving him his own room and we've been kind of sharing i will sleep downstairs when he is not here and i'm probably going to continue to do that for the most part because that's my bed that's up there that he's got um but we are redoing both boys rooms and I wanted to get it all cleaned up and um, get all my things downstairs. I have um, a plan of how I probably am going to do things. There is a full bath upstairs, and so I'm probably going to keep some of my clothes in the bathroom up there. Plenty of counter and cabinet space up there, so I'm going to probably keep some of my clothing up there so I can take a shower and change. But most of my items are now going to come down into my living room. And I will give you a full tour of that when I get it completed. And I get myself all moved down here. Hopefully, um, during this holiday break this week, I'll be able to get things done here at my apartment. Um, however, with that said, I do not have my kids for the holidays. They will be going to their dads for the holidays. And um, this is going to be the first holiday, real big holiday, that I have uh, with no kids. And I first thought I was going to be very, very sad and very, very depressed. However, I am doing okay. Um, surprisingly, I, number one, have a lot to do. Um, I am probably going to be teaching pre-k and so at the daycare that i work at it's mostly foster kids i am super super stoked about becoming a pre-k teacher i have got so many ideas running through my head um and again if i get my stuff done i will definitely be Letting you know, um, I'm going to be ordering a bunch of curriculum and bulletin board stuff, and I will show you all that when it gets here. And um, so I got a lot of daycare stuff and work, homework that I got to do uh, during the holidays. I probably am not going to start until my wrist is completely healed from my break of my wrist and my break of my elbow. And... I can tell you, last night, it was killing me. Um, I don't know if it's the temperature changing here in Kansas City or what, but it it hurt. Um, I'm not going to lie. It hurt. Um, but my joints did hurt um, all night last night. My knees, my feet, everything was killing me. So, um, 
weather might have something to do with all that. All right. I, so I got my eight year old room done. Um, and I have moved my 14 year old out of my eight year old's room and he is now in my room, but I still have some cleaning in there. I need to do to get some more of my items out. Uh, like I said, he's not here this week. He's at his dad's. So yeah. Um, what else do I want to say about all that rearranging I'm doing? I've got to make room for the Christmas tree this weekend. I'm going to wait till I get my voice back on Friday. And we will definitely be um, putting up the tree together as a family. And um, I would not do that without my children present. Um, especially my 8-year-old. He loves helping me decorate the tree. So... And my 14-year-old, I need his muscle with my broken wrist and elbow. Get that tree out of the garage. So, um, I'm going to wait for the kids to come back. Definitely going to be doing a lot of um, holiday decorating um, this weekend after Thanksgiving. And I will bring you guys along with a, me and a video when I do that. Um, I will also show you my... Christmas haul that I got for the kids probably coming up soon uh, for their rooms and for whatever I buy um, for them. And my plan for ending 2022 is to make sure each boy has their own room and has everything they need for that room. And we're off to a good start. <laughs> um, okay. So, getting that done this week. Um, but the video I really wanted to talk to you guys about was not all this rearranging. It was more about being alone and single during the holidays. I have been watching a lot, uh, I mean a lot, of single parenting Christmases and how do they do it and I'm looking all over and the internet doesn't really talk too much about what do you do when you are a single parent um, for the holidays and uh, there's a lot of people I know where I work it's mostly single moms and we are all trying to figure out what are we doing because we don't have our kids and some of us do and some of us don't for the holidays and something that we are doing is getting together and supporting each other during the holidays and I really feel like I am just so blessed to be able to work with um, other single moms. I'm also feeling very very blessed that I have joined my divorce care. They are helping me out through the holidays. They are giving me the resources I need to make sure that my children have a great Christmas. And so everything's taken care of and I don't even have to worry about it. Um, the love and support I'm getting from the divorce care group is great. Um, also, I have some friends from our church uh, that are friends with me and my husband. They know the circumstances I have been forced into as far as becoming a single mom. Um, and they feel like they have to support me and my kids um, when my husband is not. Um, and so I have plenty of love and support. They are helping me legally. They are helping me fight for my kid. Um, and they are blessing me with advice. Um, one thing that I've really learned is as a Christian, when you are going through a divorce, you need that godly advice. You need that love and support from your church. You need that love and support from um, family members and friends who are Christians, who believe the same as you. And I've got it. I've got it. Um, I have the love and support from the church my husband still attends. All of our friends are still friends with me, and I didn't lose anybody during our divorce, which is such a blessing. Um, and so we do have all that love and support, uh, me and the boys from other uh, church members. I have love and support from family members who are helping, um, and they have provided in the past. 
um, toys, they have provided clothing, they have provided food, and anytime I'm struggling, they are there, and um, I don't even have to ask. They're right there for me. What do you need? And they go get it. Um, it kind of reminds me of last year, this time, Thanksgiving last year, I had COVID. I had gotten it from my son, who's eight, who's sick right now. He had COVID last year. And, um, yeah, it wasn't good. And I ended up having family come, and they provided Thanksgiving for me here. Um, and they just brought it and left it at the door. I picked it up, brought it inside. I felt so blessed, so warm-hearted to know that I have so many people who love me and support me as a single mom and as, um, you know, they support my children also. And, uh, so I have that. Um, but what if you don't, what if you don't have that love and support like I do? Um, I highly suggest you get some friends, um, some friends that you can spend holidays with. So I am not going to be having my children for the holiday this year. For Thanksgiving, I do have neighbors. And my neighbors are all having a friend's Thanksgiving. And I am just so thankful that they are willing to have me be part of it. Um, they texted me the other day and said, hey, do you want to join us? And I said, yes. So my plan for Thanksgiving is I am going to go see my parents and I'm going to spend Thanksgiving with um, my oldest son and my um, granddaughter and my brother and his family. And so we, it's not like I'm alone and it is something where I'm going to have love and family members all getting together for Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day. Um, the morning I get to sleep in, I get to watch the parade, I will make myself a really good breakfast, and then that night after I have lunch with my family, I'm going to go to my friend's Thanksgiving um, with my neighbors, and I am so excited about that. Um, and I love that I am two blocks over from my ex-husband, and I'm in my old neighborhood, and I'm still friends with my neighbors, and that I can... Um, Get together, celebrate the holidays, um, even though I have a broken family. And so I'm feeling super blessed about that. Okay, um, something else I can um, highly suggest for you. If you are a single mom and um, you're a Christian, watch the skit guys. The new promo for their uh, Thanksgiving um, invite and it is it's so good um, it's about someone who's at home by themselves for Thanksgiving they don't have anybody and so they handed out flyers and I can tell you I've seen this this has happened on Facebook I've seen someone say hey I'm alone for Thanksgiving or if you are alone come to my house I've got it all I got all the food you need and they open up their home. And so the skit guys did a really cute little um, inviting the neighborhood over. And just everybody who was single just kind of came over. It looked like there was a single mom and a homeless man that came. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's great to be able to think that there are plenty of people out there. Like my coworkers who are out there having a holiday by themselves, but it didn't have to be that way at all. Um, you know, I think society pushes, oh, family time and all this. And, you know, some people don't want to be part of a family. Like with me, my divorce, my husband filed for divorce and I didn't have a say in it. Um, I have to live this new lifestyle for me and my kids. Now, when I do have my kids, I can make it extra special because it's me doing everything and I can do whatever tradition, whatever um, gift giving or whatever decorations or whatever I want to do. Like this year, I'm doing my kids' rooms. They're going to have everything they want in their rooms 
and it's going to look awesome. They're going to have really cool bedrooms. Um, and besides the paint, I can't paint their rooms or um, tear up any walls or anything like that. But because I live in an apartment, but I can give them a great bedroom. And the kids are already excited about it. We've already talked about it. We're going to order some things together and get that done for them before the end of the year. So, um, you know, and that's what matters. It, what matters is the time you do have with your children, spend with your children. If um, you don't have friends, you don't have a church group, you don't have neighbors, you don't have coworkers, and you don't have your kids, and you're still by yourself, I saw um, organizations that are actually for single parents who are alone. And you can grab um, someone else that you know to join you. You can go or sign up by yourself to one of these organizations who gives a Thanksgiving meal or Christmas meal to single parents. Um, there's lots of them out there. Every city has one um, that is a big city. And if not, start your own. Like in the Skit Guys uh, commercial, just start your own. Invite people off the street if you wanted to. Um, don't sit at home and sulk by yourself. Oh, I can't believe my husband divorced me. Or, oh, I can't believe this or that. I just highly encourage you, be thankful of the situation you're in. I'm very thankful my husband filed for divorce because... The man I married is not my husband anymore. Um, he's changed. Um, and that's why he's my ex-husband. is because something has changed in him. And I, I know that God has me where I am in the situation I'm in with my divorce. Because... This is what God's plan is for me. God's plan is for me to help other single moms. God's plan for me is to be part of um, parents without partners and to be part of helping other Christian single moms out there. And I know that God has got me and he is providing and he is blessing me and taking care of me. And he has sent so many other people into my life who need me to help them. And I am just feeling overjoyed. I am so thankful. And um, God is just working and he is doing amazing things. And I don't have to worry about what my children are doing over at my ex-husband's house. I don't have to worry about sitting at home and what am I going to do by myself because I'm getting active and I think that's what I'm supposed to say here is get active be part of your community be part of um, the people around you make a difference in someone else's life and use the gifts that God has given you use the capabilities and the home that you have um, and use the things that um, you have been blessed with to bless other people. So I just want to encourage you guys today. Be thankful. Have a thankful heart inside. And, um, you know, don't forget to give God all the glory and give him thanks this holiday season. And I will be making more videos before Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to encourage you guys this morning. God bless. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.